Hi, welcome back everyone. Aloha. There's a this new event going on in the game. Uh, it's a very island-based summer adventure marina fest. Uh, some new game, um, some new mini games being introduced. Uh, you get to gain coins and to actually purchase and buy game progression. At the same time, I think the game ran a new patch yesterday. There are some new Pokemon being introduced. Uh, so I just thought of covering some of these uh, new updates as well as you know to show you some of my gameplay for these mini games. So without any further further ado, let's jump right into it. The first mini game on the event called Beach Water Eye Shop. Basically, it is just a memory game. Uh, in case you have trouble with this, you know, or you trouble to hitting the perfect rank or perfect score, the trick is to use your finger. So what I did, why well, I basically just pointed the first two ice cream and memorized the last few. Uh, using the brain power, I think that is a trick to it. So it's not that hard after all. So just to be more precise, basically what I did, I used four fingers knowing that either I have to go right or go left depending on the ice cream location I just pointed that with the slight distance my brain power will know that either the you know whichever fingers I need to move first and I need to just remember the last two order so basically you just need to trick your memory and knowing what is your finger and what is the last two order uh, based on your memory uh, power so the other thing you could really do is to besides mastering the finger trick uh, do some um, you know dummy create some dummy account create a second account in a different server so that you can practice using this finger trick uh, before you do your main account so eventually you will find a rhythm you will get uh, the, the trick how to do this and the second game is just basically horrible for me uh, you just need, need a lot of time to beat the AI. The AI is super good at this. Uh, I personally maybe really suck at this. So truly, truly. So good luck to myself and you know, good luck to everyone else. For the level 1 fight, just remember to pick go right so that you get the additional buff. Uh, placing Tyranita at the front, I think that would be the good choice uh, because he tank at the same time, he does a lot of damage and just need to make sure Blasinkan is the team. Uh, the other attacker doesn't bring a lot of difference. Uh, just make sure you kill the first uh, Skep Septile and then following by killing the Shamin and the game is pretty much over. For level 2, I believe this is an easy one. Remember to choose Squirtle uh, for the quiz so that you uh, get the buff, I believe. Uh, I chose it wrong, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I think this mainly the challenge would be to clear it within the 10 rounds. Uh, yeah, just choose the right unit, uh, but eventually you'll get there. For level 3, I believe this is the more challenging one but it's not that difficult either. Just make sure that you use the Mewtwo tactfully. Uh, Mewtwo skill 2 has this power to absorb rage point from the opponent. So make sure you kill the Rakeza at first and continue to use Mewtwo to steal the rage point from the opponent to ensure they are not using their ulti skill. I think that will be the trick.
for the event rewards, you can use the token collected from the mini games to exchange for the item that you need uh, for, the, for your game. So uh, there are quite a number of items here. My personal advice is try to prioritize items that make your game progress. Uh, if you really want to go for the cosmetic item like the avatar or maybe some of this uh, title, uh, you know, go for it. If you really, if you really think that they are they are good for you and they're really uh, special, uh, go for it. It's your game anyway. Uh, but at the same time, if you really want to make some progress, I personally feel that for my gameplay, I probably will go for uh, Feebas. So Feebas evolved into Milotic. Milotic is the female version of it. I think there's a new version called uh, Miration, but I think not in game yet. Uh, Milotic second skill Fascinated, exactly the same as uh, Gatherball. So Gatherball, uh, similar to Gatherball, this is a control effect uh, to confuse the opponent, to make them fall in love. Uh, and all enemy on the third skill, not a major damage output, but I like the kits quite a bit. It heals all ally. On top of that, it creates the uh, uh, critical reductions on the opponent. It dispels all negative effect. On top of that, it gives more healing power if the uh, negative effects are more. So I think these are really good support kits in overall. I can see myself using this for uh, many scenarios. And the passive actually uh, transfer negative state uh, and at the same time it gives shield and also it buff the defense so it actually very good in overall as a support unit I think not for end game player uh, I think but at the same time I think because I'm still progressing game I still think that you know there's many scenarios that I needed a lot of time I needed a cleanser so I think Melodic might actually fill that spot so back to the um, limited shop very fancy name if you need anything else rather than feedback feel free to do so you know always again prioritize your game progression if you needed any of this any other item uh, to, to make your game progress I think many of it will actually prioritize for the detour shot because I think you want to use this as a material so I think this could be really useful too but other than that you just need to choose what you need uh, I think that's the fundamental principle so once again, thank you for dropping by. Wish you a fantastic weekend ahead. Uh, please support me by giving me a like and subscribe. And I hope you stay safe and see you soon.